Hi, my name is Ted with Legacy Brand Leather. So, how are you guys doing? Hanging in there, I hope. This is the first video of the new year for me. I wanted to do something a little bit easier, well, to shake off the 2020 that's still on me. Today, I'm gonna to be crafting a leather mouse pad. I had mouse pads in my shop a few years ago, but I was using a bit thinner of leather and I had a few customer complaints. But I'm happy to bring them back, and if you have some leather lying around and you wanna craft along with me, let's get to it. Today I'm using Wicket & Craig's Buck Brown Harness Leather 6 to 7 ounces thick or 0.093 to 0.109 inches thick, just under an eighth of an inch. I wanted something a bit thicker that wouldn't feel flimsy and yet wasn't so thick that you would feel the edge against your wrist. Then with some shears, I'm cutting out an oversized shape that I'm going to clean up to 9.5 inches wide by 8.5 inches tall. I'm using a Verge Blanchard brass knife but an X-Acto knife, rotary knife, or box knife works great too. Now I'm gonna round the corners with this circle tool. I have a lot of people asking about this tool. It's made by Wind Fire Designs, and it's originally intended for kite making. Go ahead and check them out if you want one. With a zero grade edge beveler, I bevel both top and bottom edges. I wanted to add my logo in the bottom right corner. I don't like to have a big logo on a piece like this, especially if you're going to have a mouse moving over it. Then I'm dyeing the edges with some brown edge dye before I head to burnishing. From there it's a few passes of sandpaper between burnishing with the canvas cloth to get a nice looking edge. There's the edge without burnishing, and there's the edge with some burnishing. Lastly, I'm adding a bit of Columbus wax before burnishing one last time. There you have it. But let's check out some B-roll. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're making one at home, it's a fun and easy project that you can customize in your own unique way. Maybe add some tooling around the edge, or some stitching, or maybe you're going to dye it some fun colors. If I did inspire you to make one, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Legacy Brand Leather. I would love to see it. Go ahead and give me a follow there. I post product photos, process photos, and general rugged vibes. If you want to support my channel, head to patreon.com forward slash Legacy Brand Leather. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. That shows me that you want to see more videos and more content like this. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there. This is the first video of the new year for me. Rear. <laughs> I wanted to do. Ugh. I had mouse pads in my shop a few years ago. Phew, 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 ph